Well, hello, my YouTube friend. Tonight, it is my pleasure to present you those two new acquisitions coming directly from Master Neil Blackwood. Uh, man, you know, I'm kind of torn apart, you know, <laughs> tonight because in a way, I couldn't be happier uh, than uh, with those knives. And in a way, a part of me is sad. Sad because whenever I'm going to discuss about beauties uh, such as those uh, and uh, beauties being made by Neil Blackwood, I know that I will have to make some kind of disclaimer about the fact that Neil is slow, he has a kind of backlog, whatever. Also sad because I know that for some of you, I mean, you, you gave up on him. Uh, literally, this knife. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of Blackwood now, okay? And I get them because mostly people don't want to buy from him. So this one, I bought him directly from him on Instagram uh, because no one wanted to buy it. This one, almost the same. I mean, he had a uh, blade uh, ready for bruisers. And, um, you know, I just bought them. But... The reality is that uh, uh, you are right. I mean, Neil is really, really slow. Take take this knife, for example, okay, this bruiser. Uh, literally, the blade was done uh, when I ordered it. Uh, the frame was, you know, advanced, I would say. And it was supposed to be made in a couple of weeks. Well, it took uh, <laughs> over four months. Yeah, I would say between four and five months uh, to get the knife. So this is the reality with Neil. But at the end of the day, I have here in my hand one of the most uh, exquisite knife I've ever held. And I could tell almost the same thing as uh, this one. So, yeah, this is why I'm always, always torn apart. Because I have to justify the genius of a man just because he has some issues with communication, with uh, his backlog, which is, again, something that is very true. Uh, and I can tell you firsthand that I had to deal with that, and that's quite, quite annoying. But men are those pieces absolutely phenomenal, and that's why I want to present you tonight this uh, skirmish, mini skirmish, uh, with the bolster lock. Um, this is something that is not really usual with him, uh, but he also does uh, bolster lock. And this magnificent, stupendous, I mean, I'm losing superlatives when it comes to describe this bruiser. So, uh, let's start one by one, and uh, we will start with the smaller one, which is the uh, mini skirmish. So, the mini skirmish is 3.5 inch blade. This is the exact, exact length that you, everyone, I mean, would be happy with. Look at that. I mean, I have Excel hand. This handle fits perfectly hand in hand. Uh, one thing is for sure with Blackwood knives, he makes absolutely perfect knives. They are true custom. I mean, he does everything, everything, the pivot, the, the, even he builds his own um, washers, Teflon washers. Everything is done by hand, one man operation. Not a lot of people are uh, doing that lately. Uh, this is a true custom knife maker. I mean, this is what you get when you get a, uh, when you will buy a knife from him. The air goes on this knife. The model, I mean, the designs that he make are just stupendous. And the best, my favorite one, is this mini skirmish because the air goes on this one, whether it's this one or uh, the bigger one. Even if it's five inch, the bigger one, the air goes are sublime, sublime. Look at that. I mean, the everything fits perfectly well for every kind of hand. You have the guard here for the index, this beautiful ramp with this jimping that is not aggressive but very functional. I mean, the fact that, it, that it's a ramp and the jimping, it's just perfect. You are not annoyed by the clip, everything, were, I mean, fits perfectly in your, in your hand. Uh, the blade, the blade is one of uh, uh, the, the blade shape that I prefer uh, above all. I mean, you, you have to understand that doing a, 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 this kind of blade shape is way more difficult, way, way, way more difficult than any kind of compound grind. Uh, this is truly no machine could do that. This is poetry. Look at this recurve. Look at this dramatic hollow on the swedge and here also on the bevel. This is simply a a, a, a fantastic grind, fantastic grind. Uh, I like this oval hole. I mean, it's really functional. Um, 
you can operate with the thumb, of course, with the index, with the middle finger, whatever spidey trick. I, I don't know why I do that even, but <laughs> just to show you that you can use it. It's very versatile hole. I absolutely adore this oval hole. I mean, like the blade shape, look at that. It looks almost like, like a predator. I don't know what, what kind of predator, but it looks just, just fantastic. I mean, I'm losing words when it comes to describe his blade shape. Now, this finish is absolutely unique. I wouldn't know how to describe it. Uh, it's artistry. I mean, when I have an, a knife from Neil Blackwood in hand, uh, uh, I have all the artistry of a man screaming and, and perspiring from every single dot of the knife. This is what I get when I get a knife from, from Neil Blackwood. I mean, you know, he's he, he was the superstar 20, 25 years ago. He... I mean, if you want to compare him to, 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 to a guy like Mayo, for example, this is the same craftsmanship. I mean, those guys, they are absolutely the same craftsmanship. The difference being that when you will have a black wood in hand, you will have something that will be not simple at, <laughs> at all, at all. And that will be more like Baroque, if you want to compare it to a, a, an artistic like movement from the, yeah, the, the, the Baroque style, uh, compared to the simplicity of uh, of mayo, but the craftsmanship is here, and I have to tell you that I have always been more uh, uh, attracted by the baroque compared to the to the simple art. So this is what you get when you get a knife from Neil Blackwood. That's why I urge you, my friend, if you have. Uh, I don't know if you don't hold no grudge or, or not too much grudge with him. Uh, you know, try to to believe in him and believe in him, in his artistry. I'm sure that it will he will make it up and and and, and uh, continue making such great knives like that. So uh, I was talking about the the, the minuscule mission. Um, and the fact that every knife that it does are hefty, they're sturdy, they're done. I, I talked about the Baroque, but I, I, what I didn't mention is that you have this feel of heft in hand. The feel that you could use and put this knife for hard use, uh, uh, and it will it will last. And, and, and he designed them like that. He wants them to be absolutely sturdy. This is a brick. I mean, this, you can go to war with that <laughs> and you feel that nothing will happen to a knife, uh, to a knife like that. So yeah, you have that feel uh, uh, in hand. Now let's talk about the handle. I mean, as I said, everything is perfectly done. Look at how it works on this marble carbon fiber. You don't see no scratches, no void. It's perfectly uh, prepared. Look at the the hardware is blue here to kind of remind the blue of the bolster here. Everything is flame. Look at the pivot flame in bronze here. Uh, look here also, I absolutely adore the fact that he adds some liners, some red liners. And this is just, it, has, it serves no purpose, just to be beautiful. Like with the marble carbon fiber, the red liner, the blue, uh, uh, the blue uh, frame, uh, and the marble carbon fiber backspacer, which starts, you know, like almost flush here and becomes, you know, like bold uh, 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 and um, uh, uh, like with this contouring uh, uh, on the on the back. Uh, I absolutely adore that. I, I like also the this motion, you know, that you have on the bolster. Uh, Neil doesn't want his uh, junction to be flush. Uh, it's something that he can do. I mean, I had uh, a knife from him. Uh, um, it was a pimp squeak. And when he wants to make a f uh, flush junction, he can do it. But uh, the design of his knife, this knife, he said that he likes, you know, this junction to be like bold. That's his word. Uh, so, yeah, beautiful. So, we have here a bolster lock. Look at that. I mean, the engagement uh, is fantastic. You have absolutely no movement, laterals, front, front side to side, nothing upside down, nothing. It's rock, rock solid. Look at that. No stickness whatsoever. Here the detent. Boom! This is the perfect ratio uh, for the detent with the thumb opening. Uh, it's not too strong, so you can operate it again with any any kind of finger. You can also deploy it really smoothly like that, and yet you have enough of a detent for the blade not to open by accident uh, when you hold it in, in, in your pocket. Look at this engagement. 
perfectly, perfectly centered. This is just a fantastic knife for an everyday use. Of course, you don't want to put it in hard use, but this is just a knife that you want to carry. The clip is exceptional. The retention is great and it reproduces the shape, the overall shape of the knife, as you can see. Even the hole here is represented. I absolutely adore that. One thing is for sure with Neil also, you can see inside the knife, everything, even inside, I have no, not enough light to show you, but everything will be perfect from the inside to the outside. Uh, and this is also something that I absolutely adore with him. You won't, you won't see, you know, a, a kind of, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, bad finish on the inside of the uh, of the frame. So let's talk a little bit about Bruiser now, if you will. Uh, this is a, a big knife, but I can tell you something. I carried it like uh, the last two, uh, two days. Uh, it carries perfectly. This clip is just really functional. Uh, he's doing such a detail here. Look at that. He, even on the clip here, you have this kind of contouring. The, 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 the relief cut is absolutely beautiful. Look at this backspacer. This is probably the, the most beautiful backspacer I've ever seen. You have to understand that in the middle, you have this contoured zirconium here with two liners in sandwich like that. The zirconium in sandwich and two liner anodized in purple and blue. Look at that. This impact point that you have here is really phenomenal. And look at here in the inside. Let me see if I can catch some light. You see that? Oh, sorry about that. I don't have enough light. I'm so sorry because you see uh, how beautiful is the zirconium. I uh, won't get it up. Oh, yes. Look at that. You see inside? The zirconium with this beautiful finish and the liners from side to side. As I told you, inside is as beautiful as the outside. Now look at the colors that you have on this handle. This anodization is really from out of space and everything is well uh, uh, finished as the hardware that you can see here uh, with the bronze flame. Look at that. I'm going to try to... Oh man, look at that. It's such a beautiful... You have so much contrast here. Uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, you, you can feel all the contrast and all the coloring that you have. And you see here also inside in those holes, you see that they're satin and bronze. What a beautiful, what a beautiful knife. This is the first time that he's using uh, zirconium. And look at that. I mean, uh, a lot of people do that. But for the first time, I think that he did really well. And again, everything is flame. Look at this. Oh man, this blade shape is just fantastic. The, the stone wash, I don't know how he got that. Here it's a dramatic hologram, here it's a flat. The design of this blade is simply poetry to me. Absolutely poetry uh, to me. I don't know how it can be so beautiful uh, uh, as that. I have nothing but, you know, I'm in awe of his work. It's simple as that. I'm no fanboy, but I just opened my eyes and when I have a knife like that in my hand, I am simply in awe. And I'll be honest with you, I, I see no other maker that will bring me such joy and happiness when I have a knife like that. Again, every detail counts to get that. Look at this contouring that you have here, the kind of jimping here uh, on the handle. Everywhere here also, the handle is contoured from everywhere. I mean, it doesn't leave any place. And the air goes on this one. Look at that. You have a humongous knife, but look at these air goes. Look at that. Index here. Four fingers here. Look at that. You have, it's, nothing is extra here. The extra length that you have brings you I don't want to hit my floor, but it brings you something functional because you have a really nice impact point. On this one, you don't have an impact point, but you have just enough of a, of a blade, you know, for the carry. Not too much. This one is not too much either because this is functional on the back. Now look at that. The guard here is phenomenal. The 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 ramp here and the jimping. Look at that. Everything falls perfectly in place. Perfectly in place. Now look at that for the small cutting task. A front soil. Here you can put your thumb. In the, you rest your thumb in the ramp, but you can also put it here. Look at that. How perfectly it aligns to do some small uh, cutting task. Uh, everything, everything in those knives are absolutely, absolutely well thought. Uh, you can tell that this guy is a true 
genius. I urge you, my friend, to give to cut him some slack and uh, consider buying a knife from him if ever you have the opportunity uh, to get a knife from him. He will be back. He will uh, come clean for sure. I'm sure about that because he's a great man and most importantly, one of the most incredible artists you can find in this community. And with that being said, I will leave the 10 last second uh, to the contemplation of those beauties. Bye-bye, my friends.